Home affordability is a topic that is on the mind of many. Is it on your mind too? Hi, this is Kevin Martini with the Martini Mortgage Group at Benchmark Mortgage, and thank you for watching The Martini Factor, Episode 13, Home Affordability. We all have seen the headlines that the U.S. homeownership rate rose in 2017 for the first time in 13 years, and why not? Home values are in the rise in the Triangle, North Carolina, and you all know that mortgage rates have shifted upward in the past several weeks. Plus, the inventory for home remains very, very tight here. A topic that is timely is home affordability. Whenever someone talks about shortage of inventory, we're really talking about rising prices. And when prices rise, there's a legitimate concern related to home affordability. Is it more expensive to buy a home today than it was last year? Well, yes, it is. You see, simply put, prices went up because most homes appreciated over the last 12 months. And during that same period of time, so did home loan rates. With that being said, a rise in home values and a rise in mortgage rates does not mean there's an affordability issue. Even with the increase in home prices, home affordability is still in check. When you consider on a national level, the price to income is near the 25 year average. CoreLogic did a study about the typical mortgage payment during different time periods starting in 2000. Obviously, the typical mortgage payment is projected to increase in 2018 from October 2017. And we have seen an increase since February 2012. However, the typical mortgage payment is still below where it was before the boom and the bust. Here is the Martini Factor bottom line. A home buyer today is no worse off than the same buyer would have been before the boom and the bust. In fact, a home buyer is in better shape today. Right now, a home buyer today has a historically high level of purchasing power. And this is one reason I believe the discussion that homes are not affordable is incorrect. In my opinion, there is no home affordability crisis. Let me go just a little deeper. Sure, there was a mortgage renaissance that was because there were some bad actors providing loans to some families that it should not have been put in those specific home loan products. This caused distressed properties. So you got me. Buying a foreclosure or a short sale way back when costs less than buying today. But if we compare this period to the time before the boom and the bust, we are in better shape. When looking at home affordability, it is deceptive to focus on the rise of home prices. You are correct. The inflation adjusted typical mortgage payment is higher in the past several years. However, in October 2017, it was over 36% less than its peak in June 2006. Also in June 2006, the average mortgage rate was in the upper 6% range compared to the epic rates today even though prices are going up because Raleigh interest rates are still at historic lows, home affordability is not an issue. If you are one of the many homeowners whose house no longer fits their needs and are looking to move up to your dream home, now is a great time to have a conversation with the Martini Mortgage Group at Benchmark Mortgage. Thank you for watching episode 13 of the martini factor on home affordability if you or someone you know has questions about home loan rates or products i invite them to give me a call at 919-238-4934 in addition thank you for sharing this episode of the martini factor with someone you think may benefit